So, you updated your Apple devices to macOS 13.1, iOS 16.2, and iPadOS 16.2. Or they did it themselves. Either way, you now see this new app on your iPad, and you're wondering, what the hell is this app? So, this is Freeform. So, if you're like me and use your iPad for note-taking or any creative purpose, this app is going to be your best friend. Now, if you're like me, you've used the Notes app on your iPad to organize your thoughts and just get everything situated. But there's a few things that the Notes app physically cannot do that I personally would have loved it to do. Like, I would love for the ability to zoom in and like make a fine-tune edit or something like that. Or really just draw wherever. That's what Freeform tries to accomplish. So Freeform is Apple's version of a collaborative app similar to, similar to that of what Google Docs and other platforms try to do. So this is the Notes app taking to a whole nother level. When you first open with Freeform, you're greeted with this screen. It says all boards, recent, shared, favorites, recently deleted, as well as the start new and change the view and search. So this is going to be the screen when you have no boards. So on the left side, we have recently deleted, shared, favorites, as well as recents. So if we start a new board, you're going to be open to this blank canvas. So this blank canvas ultimately will be your best friend for anything on note-taking. So on the bottom left, we have the ability to adjust the screen scale and adjust how zoomed in, how zoomed out we want. So if you want to get that really fine-tuned edit like I was talking about, we could zoom in 400% and then we can write, Hello, world. And now we can zoom out back to 100% or we could keep going as this is an endless canvas and you can write anywhere you can space anything out you can do whatever you want so now getting to the tools we have so where the title is you have the ability to rename duplicate it favorite find show the grid or turn off the grid which you can also do from this zoom window um, you can also export as PDF, which is really helpful if you're someone like me who likes to export out your notes or send them to someone else if you need someone to look at or if you just want them to give you their what they think of it. So now over here we have the toolbar. So on the top right, on the top menu, you have your pencil, you have a sticky note. So here you could put whatever text you want on it. You could change the color to be any color you'd like. So this is personally, I know this is great if I kind of want to draw attention to something. Um, I can just sticky note it and I can make it blue. And we could say important. And then I'll remember when I'm looking at this document that it's important. And then next we have the shapes button. So in here you have every shape you could imagine um, we have basic, geometry, regular objects, some animals, nature, food, symbols, education, arts, science, and the list goes on. If there's any shape you want, Freeform has it in its library. And if it doesn't, you are more than welcome to add a photo, a camera, a scan, a link, or even insert from somewhere else. Like if you have a Mac and you have files on there you want to import from. But this button we skipped over was the text button. So this button allows you to put any text you want. So you could put hi, this is a test, oh, I can't spell. This is a test in there. And then I can say, all right, so that's over here. Now we can take this, we can now go back to the marker and we have the ability to write um, as text. So if I write any word, so if I write hi, it will write it as text. So that's what the Apple Pencil does. So that does, you do need an Apple Pencil for that. So that's really only an iPad exclusive feature. So the next we have the pen button. So this is a marker. You, you can write, um, you can write your handwriting, um, whatever you'd like. So we can write, hello, with a smiley face. And you wrote, you took your notes in your handwriting just like you were doing the notes app. But this is also important, I feel. If you wanna say, let's say this was really important, I can then, draw an arrow and mark that as important to myself or we can go we can go and we can do our arrow if we go back to basic shapes we go back to our basic shapes i can take this arrow and i can draw that arrow to this sticky note because it's really important that i see this and then you have the ability to change how it starts how it ends and even what it looks like so here this is like a handwritten arrow shape which i think is pretty cool but going back to the marker we also have a regular pencil, so this looks just like if you were to write with a pencil. Next we have a crayon, so you can write with a crayon, just like you would if you want to color or mark something up. And then next we have this cool tool, I like to use it as a highlighter, it reminds me really of like, um, like paint almost. Um, but let's say you want to 
mark up this really important word hello. You can just drag it and just like that, now it's highlighted. Or if you want to just shade a section, you can also do that as well, which is pretty cool. And the next, we have the eraser. So this is just like a normal eraser. You can do whatever you'd like. Um, erases, um, get rid of the whole thing, or you have the ability to change the size or turn it into an object eraser, which I think is hands down one of my favorite features. You could just take your pencil, your finger, swipe, 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 and it'll just delete everything without any questions. And next we have the lasso, so if you write something in pencil, you can drag it, you can move this, you can zoom out, you can zoom in, you can move this over here, and let's say this is really important over here, we can have it over here, and that are all the writing options. Why I think Freeform is such a great app is because it takes everything the Notes app was no longer capable of doing or Apple didn't add yet and essentially can do it. So like I said before, this is an endless canvas, so we can zoom out, zoom out, zoom out, and here, we're zoomed out to 10%. Like I have all of this real estate to do whatever I want. And I can add people, I can share it with people, I can share it with whoever I'd like, which is so cool. And you can even just start a new one from within this board, and then you can just continue right here, um, doing whatever you wanna do. Which I think is so cool that you can do that, because there have been times where I'll be taking notes, I'll be writing down ideas, and I'm like, I need a new one. And instead of having to jump out of the notes app, go back in and all that, just tap a button. It's right there. Personally, for me, this is going to be my go-to notes app. Um, it's free. It's built into all my Apple devices. It syncs through iCloud. So if I do something on my iPhone, it's here on my iPad. And if it's on my iPad, it then goes to my Mac, which is just great. I love that flexibility and that um, iCloud sync that Apple has. Because I know there are other apps that do similar things like this. Um, not from Apple, but... Personally, I haven't found a good app that you don't have to pay for to take your notes. And Freeform seems to be that option. Um, even um, something I'm noticing is my iPad doesn't get nearly as hot when I'm using Freeform with my Apple Pencil. This was something I noticed in the Notes app. Um, if you've noticed it too, you can let me know with a comment below um, if, and we can talk about it. Because my iPad gets really hot and I'll be taking very simple notes. I won't be taking anything complicated. Um, it's really weird. But Freeform is a really great app that Apple's made. They put a lot of time and energy into this. I think it's perfect. I think they couldn't have put anything else in it. Make it as good as they did. Every, I know a lot of people are using it, like I've started using it, and some of my friends have even asked me, oh, what app is that? And then I tell them, and then they try it out, and they tell me they love it. They tell me it's great because everything is just there, and you have everything in one spot, and it's really cool. You can export, you can share, you can really do whatever you want. The possibilities are endless in this. And that's it for me, so I want you to remember today's a good day to make a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Um, if you want to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications, that would really help me out. Even if you want to hit that like button, I'd also really appreciate that.